Hey, I want to show you this uh, lovely Marseille uh, parquet pattern in white oak. It's uh, 33 inches uh, by 33 inches. It's three quarters of an inch thick. It's made by Kentucky flooring, wood floors, and uh, uh, I think they're in Kentucky. And it's uh, what I call a castle floor or a chateau floor. I think it's, uh, it's going to be handsome. I'll be making a table pad out of that in a dining room. But I'm not here to talk about parquet today or uh, uh, France. I'm here to talk about uh, red oak versus white oak. I want to help somebody out there who is trying to figure out exactly what they have. Um, what I just laid in, uh, on the parquet is uh, a stick of uh, inch and a half red oak and then some uh, white oak uh, lap reducer. Um, and you can see just in the color difference that uh, one is red oak and one is white oak. But uh, I can assure you that is uh, can be very deceiving because red oak varies greatly depending on from what region it was harvested, be it the Ozarks or the Appalachians or Michigan or Canada. Um, and so uh, it's always safer to go a little... Uh, deeper in our uh, study of a board. Um, oftentimes looking at the end grain of red oak will uh, show that there's a uh, presence of pinholes. I'm having a hard time focusing here for you. There we go. You can see the little pinholes. Um, they're, they're all over. I'll come even closer. See if the camera will zoom in. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm not going to do it. There we go. See those pinholes? That is red oak. Now, by comparison, I'm going to lay the white oak over the red oak and see if the camera will behave now. There we go. See the difference? White oaks on top, red oaks right here. All right, thank you, camera, Mr. Camera. Uh, but uh, even that can be deceiving because I have found, maybe other floor guys out there will agree with me, that uh, as we harvest younger and younger growth, there can be plenty of pinholes, uh, even in white oak. So we go a little further in our study of the uh, board and look uh, closely at what are called rays. And on this piece of red oak, um, I've actually highlighted with a pen what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm not talking about this wide band, this soft grain this, that gives oak the characteristic steepled appearance uh, that it has. I'm talking about taking off your glasses and squinting and getting down and looking at these little rays. Okay, It's actually the sides of those pinholes that you saw in the end grain. And um, in red oak, these will usually just be a quarter inch at the most in length, whereas in white oak, they'll be much more, uh, much longer, um, three quarters of an inch at least. Let me just highlight a few here. One inch, three quarter. Can you see that? By comparison. That is uh, actually, I think that's a uh, more surefire test than the uh, pinhole in the end grain. Um, look. However, there is a 100% test, and that is to take some shavings and uh, put them in a little dish and soak them with a solution, a 5% solution of sodium nitrite to water. That's 5% by weight, not by volume. You can get it at a uh, 
at a drugstore. Or you can go to, uh, just click on my link to go to Amazon and uh, pick up one of these. They're usually 20 some dollars. What you want to do is you want to shave from the board, a clean board, uh, just about this amount of material. And um, you want to make sure that it doesn't have any old finish in it. Any stain has to be just wood. And you soak it with the uh, sodium nitrite. Uh, and the mineral reacts with the sodium nitrate and turns it black or gray. Okay, if this happens, it's white oak, 100%. If you've done the sampling right, you've mixed your solution right, and you've, you've just followed the procedures correctly, it turns green or black uh, almost instantly. Sometimes it might take 5-10 minutes, but this happens every time. By comparison, I took some, some red oak shavings and soaked those in the same solution and you can see that it turns dark but it's just basically a wet look. It's not black. Okay, so just to reiterate, the shavings have to be clean. No finish, no wax, nothing, no contaminants of any kind. And then the other thing I'll say is do not try to sample, simply drip sodium nitrite on the top of a board. Uh, that will, you'll get mixed results with that. Make sure you do the shavings in a little dish with the 5% sodium nitrite. Not nitrate, nitrite. Uh, uh, if you don't want to uh, mess with any of this, simply go to the website woodfloorsforever.org and click on the contact button. I'm on the other side of the button there, uh, receiving samples, and happy to uh, to uh, do an analysis for you. And uh, and please let me know if you have any other questions regarding uh, red oak or white oak.